Who would you like to think about? I mean, uh, maybe Morley. Morley is a good place. I had him start. first on the list. Darth Morley. Morley. What do you think of Morley? Well, you know my feelings. Always love Morley. And I think much the same reason of, as you. I'll put him down a bit of a descriptor. This is my Morley descriptor. Acrobatic. Yeah, yeah. I just uh, um, mm. really yeah. loving, loving that bit. And I think it's the best Star mm. Wars mm. had in that area was yeah. the choreography. Yeah. yeah. The oh. fight sequences. Mm. No, I wasn't disappointed. Yeah, it wasn't. I mean, Darth Maul, mm. isn't it? So the, I don't know, for you... Maybe it's different for you, because I know you love some of Luke, especially in Jedi, and you love some of that sword play Look, there. I mean, what you I know. like about the villains in Star Wars is the intimidating whilst they fight. You know, yeah. You have learned much, but you're still not quite the yeah, Jedi yet. Yeah, you know, there's yeah. lots of... And, and you sort of play them, in the, and they weaken yeah, from yeah. the verbal as well. Yeah. And Dooku had a bit of that. So yes. I thought he, you know, Christopher Reeves, you know, you know what does he say about Double the Four? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Double the Four. Double the Four. That was yeah. a good line. Yeah. Because um, it was a bit of that old Vader style mm. um, intimidating. But, but Morley was more about less of a verbal, but yes. fabulous acrobatics, yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. And funnily enough, my favourite scene of him fighting is when he's on the planet Tatooine with Qui-Gon and yeah. he's robed up and he's only yeah. using the one side of his lightsaber. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I, I always love the look of that especially. I love that. The um, cloak and how it's on, the hood is on, you know. Yeah. I do like that part. The sword play in that particular scene didn't grab me. I don't quite know why. Maybe because it's too fast. Yeah. There's a flip and there's a few yeah. strikes. And I didn't quite, whereas that stuff toward the end, and I know you love that stuff anyway, but some of that stuff, and really after Qui-Gon's died and then he's just fighting Ewan McGregor, which is, you know, really, I really like that sort of part. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah there's some precision really and very, very Some good. of that stuff that you were using. Yeah. Yeah. They're very, they're very rehearsed. Yeah. I think if, if, you know, in some ways, George Lucas deserves a moment. He, I think he really got it right with that moment. It is the right age. It's his vision. He's got that, you know, even I remember seeing Darth Maul and seeing the black tattoo through the red head. And I remember seeing it on the trailer when um, <clears throat> Phantom Menace was coming out. I remember thinking, mm. how cool is that? Mm. It was only a you know, brief second of yep. Darth Maul. Um, and in some ways for me, he, I would have liked to have heard more. I would say with him, I really would. And there's only just those couple of lines and, you know, he's, he's a great fighter, but I would have liked to have heard more. And I'd be interested when they talk about, you know, offshoots, etc. I don't think there should ever be a Darth Maul movie as such, but if there's a hero that was around in Darth Maul's time and Darth Maul features, I think it would be awesome. He's not gone, though. They've seen um, the animated series have written him all back in. Mm. So from the, you know... Because I don't know anything That Filoni guy that... Right, yes. Uh, the, he's in charge of all... You know, he's doing all the animations yeah. for Lucas Films and, and, and George Lucas went to him and said, look, we've got to write him back in. We want more back. And he said, how on? Well, you, you figure it out. So, um, you know, they worked out a way. And, it, you know, it, do you know the story about how after Obi-Wan slices him in half apparently goes out into seclusion he doesn't die yeah he ends up in seclusion in the outer rim yeah and although he's cut in half he doesn't die the force strength a bit yeah. like um, Anakin surviving the severe burns in the lung yeah. um, you see he manages to yeah. survive cut in yeah. half yeah. Um, and he builds himself a robotic base I've seen that I've seen that, the like legs spider legs yeah spider. yeah oh. This was Lucas's idea too, George right. Lucas's idea, right. doing with spine length. But in, in time is, um, but this is all, you know, when they describe canon, so yes. this is all part of what's known to be true. Yeah. So, and his brother is, is, is sent out to go and find him. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm a li little bit vague on all the details and yeah. all this stuff. Yeah. But I know his brother's the one that goes out to find him. I've seen the brother, I think, you know, moments. He's the yellow. Yeah, tattooed the, tats, the same, same sort of way. Yeah. A bit, bit bigger. 
Right. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Morley's forgotten who he is and yes. he needs to relearn. He's yeah. sort of living like an animal now, yeah, yeah. eating right. you know, creatures and wow. living like an animal. And then he comes back. But it's all about vengeance. And there's scenes, there's several scenes within the Clone Wars animations. And there's one huge pivotal one that they've only just released in Rebels, which has him up against an aged Obi-Wan on Tatooine, standing off. Morley makes some reference to oh the the Jedi that's here or the the, the son of the Jedi and and Obi Wan steps in and they get in the fight and that's where he kills him. There's a moment in that so um there's there's huge backstory with him outside of the movies. Yeah, well mm. I'm, I must admit I'm not mm. up with it because I haven't watched the Clone Wars. The animation series. Mm. Um, I've watched little bits of it. But, but should you have to? Like, I think, mm. uh, I don't necessarily watch those either. Mm. And I don't read the books. So does mm. that mean I can't enjoy the films not as standalone all. things? No, I mean, I think not. you can enjoy yeah. the films on their own. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's, well, that's all I've got. Because <laughs> yeah. I, haven't, I haven't got them. And I've thought about it. I thought, well, I guess there's the gap missing, especially in the canon, as you say. Um, yeah. So I, I see the merit in both. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, I really I mean, do. When you said you wanted um, to discuss this, I only thought about you know, thinking think a little bit yeah, yeah. more about him. And I just thought it's 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 This stuff's important. This is canon. Absolutely. I'm glad you, you know, you know more, you know, you know stuff on this. I think this is very important to talk about, especially he, tonight. We're talking about Morley. He could come back. Yeah. He could come back. Yeah. I've got some great photos here. Ah, 100%. Um, so here's some of the animations of... Him standing off with Obi-Wan, yeah, look at that. Yeah, It's pretty cool. Yeah. With the robotic legs. See, there's so much. It, look, at that's him with the Mandalorians. Mm, yeah. But I, again, I'm as unfamiliar as you are. This is mm. what it's all about for me. Mm-hmm. You know, when yeah. he ignites the double sword. Some Obi-Wan encounters. I don't know, sometimes it becomes even too much. And I think I want to even limit myself to just the movies. There's a lot to take in. Yeah. I, I, I don't... I think as long as it's believable and it's something you can sort of enjoy and yeah. invest in, I think it's all good. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't mind watching that series. I would yeah. like to watch it. And from what... You know, there's so many people are in it, so many characters, and yeah. I'm missing out on these chunks. I think it'd be good to watch. The I, whole thing. I watched a YouTube video uh, reviewing... The Clone Wars, and he was yeah. saying um, it was an interesting review, and I, I watched the entire thing because I, I liked his perspective. And he was saying that um, you know you don't want to because there's many seasons of the Clone Wars. I think there's six or seven seasons, and yeah. he's saying you know you don't have to watch the entire thing. And it had mm. a bit of a slow start, mm-hmm. and there might be that you want to come in at season four mm-hmm. and just watch when when it's all about Morley mm-hmm. or you know mm-hmm. it's, uh, stuff so starts really happening. It's on Netflix. Mm-hmm. They got the um, the entire set, all yep. the seasons. Yeah, awesome. So, um, That'd yeah. Be a good I, reason to get it alone. Yeah. Have you seen any of the Rebels stuff? One episode, first one. Was it part of the first season or second season? First. Right, right. And what did yeah. you think? Yeah, it was, it was all right. I, I haven't gone much for Star Wars animations. I don't know why. I think, because I haven't really done that. Star yeah. Wars and animations, I've, I'm still... I don't know, I haven't really done much of it, so I still kind of oh, watch I it. That. I don't like the I abstraction. Yeah, I, I don't like I the abstraction that. of R2, the that. way everybody's drawn, and then they've got the chins, or all that stuff just starts. Yeah, yeah. I'm not ready, I guess, to make it art in that sort of regard. Yeah. I like my live action with mm. the Star Wars, and mm. I love that it was only ever live action, and it's it's almost like snapshots in a time, and I yeah. love that about it. And the animation plays a bit on it, and I've, I've just got to get my head around it, I think. I know. It's just another way of getting a little bit more Star Wars, I think. You know, if you yeah. can just, you know... I, I get your point, though. I, I do struggle it's not with even, it. It's not even a point. I'm like, it's great entertainment. Mm. And for kids, and I can imagine me if I was like 14 or something, it'd be awesome. So don't get me wrong, it's not a judgment. It's an observation on my journey with it. But just having... And, and that's sort of what's mm. happening. But I think for so you know so many millions, really, the, it's awesome that it's all there. It's all happening mm. like that. Mm. Kids would be loving this stuff. It's not solely mine. It's not solely yours. And go for it, boys. You know, it'd be awesome, mm. wouldn't it, if you like 13, 14? Mm. The Darth Maul and the legs and the, and the Clone Wars and yeah. the periphery. It's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. So it's all good. Yeah. Um, I, I will say that the Rebel series 
yeah. engaged me most of all. Yeah, and I like the time got period. Something special. Yeah, the time yeah. period. Yeah. So yeah. Vader features. <coughs> Yeah. So and and it's a great sequence. If yep. you, you've got to watch it because yep. he gets his helmet smashed and you see a bit of Anakin underneath there. It's great. Wow. Um, Azuka's Ooh. there. Azuka. Oh yeah. yeah. Azuka. Well, I've heard about a live action movie with her. Okay, I with haven't heard anything. Rosario Dawson playing uh, Azuka. Is it Azoka? Is that how you pronounce it? Oh, I'm not even sure. <laughs> I, I, yeah. So, so I know who you mean. These animated characters, character, though, they're going to feature. Yeah. They're going to feature in the live action movies. Okay, cool. Even um, yeah, the right. stuff from Rebels was featured in Rogue One. The ship was featured yeah. as part of the fleet. Yes. So, and the droid was featured. Yeah. There, um, I can't think of the name of the droid, but it's a very distinctive variation on R2. Yeah. It's square. Uh, like the red droid sort yeah. of around shorter stubbier uh, shorter stubbier yeah with it's got tentacles and yeah and yeah yeah, yeah. Very, yeah it's cool it's cool yeah. oh, I can't think of chopper. the name of it chopper yeah chopper chopper so you know you know your stuff um, so that's pretty cool mm. you know and they've mm. got the ship and it's a bit like a mm. falcon you know mm. they mm. pilot it like it's the falcon they mm. repair it like it's the falcon yeah you know, it's nice and and you've got tie fighters in it and stormtroopers and there's yeah. lots of stuff we're familiar with some really good mm. bits and it's interesting because do you remember the original story of star wars where lucas had had the idea of han solo being a green creature yeah, yeah. they've got this creature that yeah. looks very much like the concept drawings yes. of that original cast for the original star wars yeah you know, there's, they're taking as much as they can from the original ideas of Lucas. Mm-hmm. and I like that. I like mm, that. Yeah. That's cool. It's a curious yeah. little angle that they've gone with yeah. for that. Well, that's what I think. It could yeah. not be the case. But. Damn, that's great. Yeah, well, that's so. a massive endorsement, a ringing endorsement I've ever heard one for anybody to watch it. I, I'm keen. That's cool. And Vader. But, but don't get me wrong. I, oh. I watched most of the first season, but I've seen barely any of the second. I think mm. I just saw the Vader re- episode. So, mm. And that mm. was on YouTube. But yeah. I'd, I'd like to sit down and watch the entire thing. Yeah. Like, but like you, the, the motions of animation don't, yeah. they, they don't sell the story the way live action does. Yeah. yeah. And animations to me is always animation. Uh, you know, I, I take it. I can't invest that much in the story. It's yeah. still a cartoon. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm willing to be proved wrong. Willing to give it a go. Mm, the special effects certainly mm. look good. Mm. Yeah. We should. That's that's Morley. I'm thinking. Morley. We've got Morley covered. Morley covered. Just enojadas